Hey guys, welcome back to Ultima Beauty. Today I'm gonna do a quick little review of my Ipsy March Glam bag. Here's the pretty little bag that it came in. And off she went to change the world. That's the goal. And it was a fitting bag, as it is National Women's History Month. And inside it gave us some tips and tricks with the products that I got. So I got this eyeshadow from Space Case Cosmetics. First of all, love the name, love the box. This is one of the prettiest eyeshadows I've seen in a long time. So it's a, hopefully it shows up, it's sort of a lilac iridescent purpley blue shade. It's in the color <laughs> Alien Love Child. Oh, these names. I don't know if you can tell. I'll do swatches on the blog. It's a really pretty like I said, iridescent lilac. I'm wearing it right now on the lids. I don't know if you can really tell. The bangs make it a little hard. But it's a beautiful color. There's like zero fallout. When you put it on, there's no little pieces that fall under the eye. And it lasts forever, all day. Didn't have to reapply it. It's so pretty. Blendable, buildable. Five stars. Next up, we have a mascara from Tarte. It is their Maneater mascara. Remember that song? Uh, Hall and Oates. Oh, here she comes. Too old. Maybe there's a better reference. What was her name? Nelly Furtado? Didn't she do a Maneater song? Oh well. Nice short bristles. They get really close to the base of the eyelashes. And on the end there, the end of the wand, it's kind of rounder. So it gets in the corners of the lashes really well without bumping the inside of your eye and messing up the rest of your look. So big fan. Then we have another one of these pretty eyeshadow brushes from I believe it's called SL Miss Glam. I don't know it's all together like one word though. It was created by beauty guru and youtuber Stephanie Lewis. Hm. Thank you Stephanie. Because these are lovely brushes. Not only are they pretty the glitter and the rhinestones. They also work extremely well. This domed one is perfect for smudging eyeshadow or applying it to the inner quarters or doing a smoky eye. They're so versatile. They're, there's no brush splay. So like the bristles don't splay out when you wash them. And they're crazy soft. So whenever you say the name of the brand, I love it. Always pleased when I receive a brush from them. Then from Pure Cosmetics we have this mini highlighter in the shade Afterglow and it is just gorgeous. It has mini gold reflective specks in it. It's a perfect highlighter. It's so soft and it blends like a dream. And it's subtle too so you don't look like you have on um well, maybe when I put it on, because I use a lot of highlighter. You don't look like you're wearing a ton of highlighter. It sort of it works with all skin tones. So, love that. And last but not least, we have this little fragrance sample from Glossier. And the fragrance is You. The story behind this is it's unique to everyone's natural scent, so it's going to smell different on everybody. I don't know if that's true, because I don't understand the chemistry behind it. But when I spritz it on, it smells really great. Sort of a fruity kind of scent, but not too overpowering or strong. So it may have a different scent on different individuals. I'm not really sure if it works like that. But I like it, and I would recommend trying it. Kind of floral fruity. I don't know, does yours have a different scent? Let me know if you got this, because now I'm really curious of how that all works. Thank you for checking out my quick little review of March's Ipsy bag. Check out the blog for more info. I'll be back with more A Series of Unfortunate Events makeup looks. You can check out the last two I did of Kit Snicket and Esme Squalor. Stay tuned for a few new series I'm going to be doing. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching again.